Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl and if not, manifest, plan and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all is surely coming to you for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you guys. Before you leave, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below so when I drop content, you guys come to Different World and you come and learn about your girl, yeah? And again, if this is your first, second, third time to my YouTube channel, I'm an author, motivational speaker, travel influencer, content creator, and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, first, second, third time, or more, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl, yep. Yeah. All right, you guys, so today is Thursday. Uh, you guys know on Thursday we do our pop -up slash movie reviews so I got another hot one for you guys uh, being that it's saggy season and it's a uh, week of my birthday tomorrow is the big one for me last day being 32 y'all tomorrow be 33 um, man 33 times around the Sun so grateful so blessed uh, um, another year wiser I'm gonna stop saying I'm getting older I'm gonna start saying I'm getting wiser because you are what you speak and I don't want to you know get old before I speak it I want to want to vibrate on a certain age you know when I get 35 I want to vibrate on 35 I don't want to speak old and over myself so I'm not gonna say I'm getting older I'm getting wiser so I am going to be 33 years wiser tomorrow you guys and <laughs> so with that being said I want to drop with you all my last movie review be 32 um, and we're doing I know it's late the movie's been out but I've been busy you guys so hey bear with me uh, this one's gonna be our movie review on the Marvels this is uh, the sequel to uh, the first uh, Disney uh, movie being dropped or Marvel excuse me <laughs> movie being dropped uh, for Captain Marvels and um, finally got a chance to go watch it and you know get my own little review on it and so uh, I'll share with you guys my thoughts on it, but I think uh, to build up to it, I want to show the movie trailer first and then talk with you guys about my review and my thoughts on it. I'm not going to say it's bad <laughs> for me, but um, I'll explain my, my thought processes on it and, and where I think, you know, they should have or could have taken it to make it, you know, in my opinion, a little bit more consistent. But in any case... Uh, watch the movie tra uh, first and then when we come back I'll talk a little bit more about it and then my opinions and thoughts and ratings on uh, the new movie The Marvel so here it is Carol Danvers prodigal child of the Milky Way Nick Fury. My favorite one-eyed man of intrigue. How goes it out there? Uh, you know, cold, no air, space. Captain Marvel. The Annihilator. You took everything from me. And now I'm returning the favor. our light-based powers so we switch places whenever we use them strong theory you can absorb light i can see it and kamala who's kamala hi she can turn light into physical matter which i have never heard of i could totally show you no Targeting every planet we call home. I would never choose to bring anybody into this. You are not the only thing standing between this and the universe. Oh my god, we're a team. Higher. Further. Faster. I got it. 
All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that movie trailer of the Marvels. Uh, again, the sequel to Captain Marvel uh, movie, uh, Marvel's movie. Um, again, so as you guys seen uh, Captain Marvel or Dan, uh, Cam, uh, what's her name, girl name? Carol Danvers. <laughs> um, she, you know, got her some teammates now on the team. Uh, her, her best friend's daughter, I think her name, I forgot her name, I just remember her as a Lieutenant Trouble, uh, but she didn't grow up, and they have a little, another um, teammate, uh, a fan of Captain Marvel, and I don't know, I think I missed, I must have missed like 30 or two minutes of it, because I don't know how she got the bangles. Oh, she said her mom sent the, uh, I forgot her name, but the Miss Marvel, that was her name. Uh, her grandmother sent her one of the bangles that the uh, Kree lady uh, was obsessed with in trying to, you know, salvage her planet again. And so I understand the plot of it. I just, I hate most of the ending of it. I know there's probably going to be another movie to it, but I just thought it could have been a little bit more lush juice and more details to it. I thought the villain died too simply if, if it makes any sense like she was here one minute just gone through just like that like they just hurried up and you know ran through the script for how to end her death i feel like it could have been more thought out and more epic like but it was just so simple to me like poof she's gone so with that um well, what I'm going to say with that, I will say there were some good qualities in, of course, with the fighting scene, um, as well as with the graphics and the cinematography. I, I like that, enjoyed the coloring of it, as well as the inclusiveness, how they were able to intertwine different cultures and background into the movies, as well as with the costumes, I think that was cool too. And seeing how different universes were, you know, intertwined and how they were connected and also leading to the fact that there's definitely going to be a part three. And so with that, I guess I have to give my overall score mm, a seven out of 10. <laughs> yeah, that's <I've> it. <laughs> okay. And it would have been an eight out of 10. But again, like I said, that depth of, again, I forget her name. God, dog. But she was the villain. She was the antagonist of the group. Um, but though again, her her death, it could have been a little more, you know, oomph to it. It's just like she was just going just like that. And um, like I said, with the ending, it could have been a little more, you know. Uh, and then Carol Danvers, or uh, I call her Captain Marvel. Um, she was just too cool, calm, and collected about, you know, how Lieutenant Trouble is just gone for now, and they don't know when she's going to return. You know, spoiler alert, if you guys haven't seen it by now, of course, uh, uh, Lieutenant Trouble or Captain Rambo, she was trying to save and put the rift back together, but got stuck on the other side, and now she's uh, in a different universe, or a parallel universe, with her not mother, but uh, um, a second source of her mom, and who's uh, Maria Rambo or something, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> it's played by my girl uh, that was in the Woman King, uh, who played Zogi. I forget her name, name, but you know, shout out to her. She's still a queen. <laughs> but with that being said, you guys, uh, I give the movie a seven out of ten. If I had to I'd sit through it again just to understand the basic of it, it's like I guess it will grow on me. But watching it the first time, I wasn't impressed that much. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I kind of like psyched myself up a little too much or was expecting too much of it, but I don't know. You guys let me know what were your thoughts of it and how you felt about the movie. Could it be a little bit more oomph with it or did you think it really would carry over, leaving, you know, that suspense at the end? So, I don't know. Drop a comment below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like, share, comment, and definitely hit the subscribe button for your girl. Um, moving on, don't forget... Be sure to check out my website, differenceworld.net. You guys can hit up all my other social medias, including my TikTok and my Instagram. So again, go to my website, differenceworld.net. As well as anybody out there looking for motivational speakers, be sure to get at your girl or looking to do any collaborations with your podcast. Whatever the case is, you can get at your girl on my website. Again, differenceworld.net. I'm free of charge as of now, so get it in while you can. Also, don't forget, being at this holiday season and I guess a birthday request for those out there can go online to my website and get a copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, this book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, you guys, be advised that this is intended for a mature audience. It has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of you know heat, 
still going to the kitchen. Just get your little fire bucket. You'll be okay. <laughs> That's the point of it all, you guys, is to have these conversations that are rough and tough and uncomfortable, but are necessary in order to move forward and, and with, with life and then healing from the past. And so uh, with this book, again, I have it set up in a controversial matter, but it, it's more than that and so again that's why i say read the book and then pass judgment and so again go to my website differenceworld.net and get your copy of my book and then read it and then pass judgment and then share it with all your friends and family members and so they can share their reviews about it again you guys i appreciate all the love and support that i am getting please keep it coming and don't stop um we got so much more coming uh, within 2024. We want to close out 2023, you know, with the bank, and if not a bank, you know, a little, little, little simmer. <laughs> uh, again, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm very excited. I uh, got a lot going on, a lot to do, even when I end this video. Got a lot of editing. So I'm just trying to keep the momentum going. With that being said, you guys, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys can come into Difference World and come and learn what I got going on for you guys tomorrow for my birthday. Definitely, you guys know on Fridays we drop our travel vlogs. And so be on the lookout for my next adventures. I promise you guys, you guys are going to enjoy this and my story behind it. And so, again, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for your girl, yeah? Also, before we get out of here, we want to touch bases on an important topic here in Difference World and Third Eye Entertainment, uh, the mental health check for anybody out there that may need it, including myself, being that, you know, this is the holiday season and a lot of times, you know, it's hard to maintain, you know, for those out there who are dealing with the loss of love and like myself, you know, they say Christmas time is the most depressing time, which I'm understanding that now. And for those out there that may be going through it, I want you all to know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Whatever the case may be, be going through depression, having suicidal thoughts, anxiety, you know, even dealing with bullying or drug relapse. Please know that it's okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may mean to you. Talking with a therapist, a family member, a friend, picking up a hobby, cutting people off who mean you know well shit, get rid of their asses. Uh, or even, you know, getting on medication if that's the case, man. Do whatever it is that you have to do that keeps your mental health in check and keeps you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. and watch the Girls YouTube channel, you guys can check out incounseling.com. Again, incounseling is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. -E -E I usually have it up here so you guys should see that. I don't think I'm going to stop spelling it. You guys can see. <laughs> but again, uh, uh, don't forget to check out those websites. And remember uh, to do your own homework and your own research to find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. No one else and with that I also want you guys to remember whatever trial and tribulation that you may be going through at this time in your life please know that it's okay and this too shall pass and you will get through it so going off the deep end it's not an option it's not worth it so don't do it and with that being said uh, we're going to close out our mental health on a positive note just remind you guys to do whatever it is that you have to that keeps your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end okay any means necessary all right uh so with that being said you guys moving on and bringing it back to again my uh topic for the day i hope you guys enjoy uh, my little movie review on the marvels again draw your own opinion go check it out and then come let your girl know about your thoughts and what you feel about it again i give it a seven out of ten i stand by what i said oh well. And so, again, hit that like, share, comment, and subscribe button and that notification bell for your girl. And when I drop content, you guys come and learn about what's going on with your girl. And with that being said, you guys, don't forget, whatever it is in life that you believe in, you're destined for it. You have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. What if...
what if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.